Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today I've got a two week vlog so basically I filmed everything that I did which was art related over the last two weeks and compiled it all into this vlog for you. So I'm kicking it off with a little trip to the National Gallery that I took with my friend Jess. I've been learning a lot about art history recently and it was just so incredible to see some of the pieces I've been reading about in real life and just learning some new things. It was a really fun day out and I hope you enjoy the rest of this vlog because I really enjoyed making it. I've got some parcels to pack. It is Friday. I I hope I'm in focus. So I just finished filming the video where I redid my whole studio and I've got some orders to pack so I need to sign and bind some pieces and write their certificates. I've got three pieces which need to go out by tomorrow morning and I need to I need to package this piece. I'm so happy with it. It was a commission. Basically, I accidentally messed up this customer's order and he's been very patient with me and I painted him a commission instead. It's the first piece like this I've ever painted, so I'm really glad that it was going to such a lovely customer because he's been so patient and so nice. I also need to paint the size of this one because this one needs to be shipped after this weekend. So if I paint the sides, and varnish it and get it ready, then I can ship it out on Monday. It's already like 6 p.m. so I probably am gonna make some dinner, do all of that, and then I'm probably gonna do a small painting afterwards, maybe for my shop update if I finish it. I'm going to be putting this piece in my shop update, which is, which is the piece from the last video that I uploaded, or maybe two videos ago by the time I upload this and it's a remake of my painting, Eternal Blue. I had a lot of requests to repaint that piece, so I've finally done it. But yeah, I'm literally feeling so good about this studio now. Before it was so small that I just, I obviously never did a tour, I never filmed it or anything because all that could really fit in there was my desk. I had some paintings behind me and there was no room to like move or anything. Like pretty much anyone that's come round to my house has never really like hung out in there before. But I'm glad that now I've got bigger space and it'll be kind of nice. I could do some wine and painting night and stuff like that. And I can finally accept bigger commissions because I actually have somewhere to paint them and store them. Yeah, that's the update. And I'm not even sure what this vlog is going to be. Is it going to be a week long video? Is it going to be a month long video? I don't know. But yeah, we'll see. Thank you. 
For this piece, I wrapped it in a few layers of bubble wrap, then I put it into a really sturdy box and added some extra craft paper so that it won't move around too much. And then the next day, we went to a little painting and pottery cafe. These are so much fun, I really recommend them if you're in an area that does this sort of thing. There's quite a few in Brighton and you basically pick out a bit of pottery that you want to paint. You paint it, they tell you how to do everything and then you wait for 7-10 to 10 days whilst they glaze it and put it through the kiln and then you can pick it up. just got home and and this parcel was at my door so gambling really kindly sent me some colors and I'm gonna unbox them for you oh. they firstly sent me some turquoise I'm so happy because I go through this like so quickly and I've literally just run out so I'm really happy that they sent this one I use this in a lot of my like more electric sky pieces, so my piece from my last tutorial or my last paint with me I was using this colour so, so I'm really glad that they sent me this one. And they sent me some cobalt blue, cobalt, cobalt, I don't know how you say it. They sent me some phthalo blue. And they sent me ultramarine blue, which I've also just run out of, so I'm really glad that they sent this one too. So thank you Gambling, and I'll be using these in my next pieces. So for the rest of the evening, it is like 7 o'clock now. There's actually a few things that I need to do this evening. I need to varnish a painting, reply to some emails, and also start a big piece which I did the underpainting for the other day. So I think that's what I'm going to do this evening, and then I'll probably end up editing a bit of this vlog as well. So yeah, that's how things are looking. have a day of work and I think I'm gonna actually end this vlog today so this will be the last work day and then I'll probably get this up for Monday um, because I haven't filmed any paint with me so I was planning on doing this video for maybe like a month but it's been like two weeks and I haven't got anything ready for Monday and it's already Thursday so today I need to pack some paintings do one more small painting do my shop update edit this vlog and reply to some emails. I've already been up since six and it's 12 p.m. now, so I got up at six because I have a nail appointment at eight. Um, I actually get them done for my videos. I actually started getting them done a couple years ago because on some of my videos, people were referring to me as he, and I thought, do people just think I have like man hands? So then I started getting them done and some people still were commenting he, so now I think it was probably just a language barrier, but. I think it just looks way better in my videos. Anyway, and I also thought that I had a work call at 12 p.m. but it turns out it's at 7 p.m. for me, but 12 p.m. for them. So I'm basically gonna try and fit all my work in and then have the work call as my last thing of the day. <laughs>
sticking around till the end. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.